Hey Maddox, how are you? Happy New Year. Glad to hear that you're taking an interest in music. And I wanted to show you something very simple to get you going and get your fingers moving and actually start playing. Um, you can do it on any stringed instrument. So I'm going to show you on the guitar. I know you have a banjo and a violin and this works just as well on those. And uh, it's kind of some basic stuff to get started, but kind of like the movie, The Karate Kid, I'm not sure if you've seen that, but in the movie, uh, Danielson wants to learn karate, and he asks his neighbor, Mr. Miyagi, and what he does is he has him do all these chores. He paints the fence, polishes the cars, sands the deck, and finally Danielson says, when am I gonna learn to do karate? And Mr. Miyagi has him do all those motions that he was doing on the different chores. And then he was showing him how he was just getting his hands used to moving that way. And doing it in a way that's like slow and steady and you can have fun with it. So before I talk to you about the guitar or the strings or anything like that, this is before all that just to get your fingers moving. So I'll try to show you as best I can. But you're just using these two fingers. You're picking up and down with the pick. And if you have, um, I think you got finger picks with the banjo, you can just put one on your thumb and then put your first finger on it like that and you don't have to worry about the other ones for now. So you can go up and down. And then of course on the violin you would bow it back and forth. So you can pick any fret, place your first finger down, and what you're going to do is play two notes in a row, picking up and down. Just like that. And as you get used to that, and your fingers are going to be tender in the beginning, so you can just, um, like I said, take it slow, um, depending on how your fingers feel. If they get tired, then you can just take a break. But you want to get used to playing the two notes in a row, and then moving up uh, the string. And you want to play it nice and slow and have the notes ring out. And you can be musical even with this uh, simple pattern. Can do it backwards. You can do it going down. You can do it going up. You can do it sideways. So you can just get used to playing the two notes, one finger after the other, frontwards, backwards, and then if your fingers start moving, you can, you know, after you start playing for a while, you just can go with it.
things like that just start happening, that's what will happen. The, uh, and believe it or not, the slower you start out, the sooner you will get faster. But in the beginning, you just want to be slow and accurate. Let the notes ring out, feel the notes, feel the music. And you don't have to play it any certain way. You can play it any way you feel it. In other words, you don't have to play it just in one direction. You don't have to do it that way. You can take your time and let the um, notes come as they just come naturally. So that's it for today. It's just that simple pattern of one note after the other, your picking hand going up and down, and once you get the hang of that, then I will show you the next thing. So have fun with it, and uh, talk to you soon.